Hello, everyone, and welcome to August's Eruption of Shame. I'm still bench, <laughs> like, trying to work out if that's a good name or not, but hey, why not? It kind of works out, I suppose. Uh, so this is series is hopefully about looking at the uh, most recent uh, Humble Bundle and, and Amazon Prime Bundle and maybe some other bundles that might be active on the store and seeing which games I'm deciding to add to my pile of shame or not. And of course, <laughs> ah, you don't get a, you don't get a great number of shame about paying for games that you don't need. So, yeah. Uh, today we're going to start looking at Humble Bundle, which, as you probably know, the Humble Choice is a system where you, every every uh, month you get a choice of games. Though, for the last few months it's been nothing but uh, twelve choices every uh, single time. So, sure, why not? Anyway, so I'm going to look through these games, see if they're going to get added onto my mountain. Of course. If I don't own them, they are, unless I decide not to buy the bundle at all. Um, so yeah, let's have a look. So first of all, let's look at these games. The only one I know I own and have played is this uh, Super Liminal. I have definitely played Super Liminal before. Um, it looks so interesting when I played it, I had to play it more, so I was like, yep, I'm in. But as the rest of these games, I have no idea what to expect. So, fair enough. Let's we'll have a look at each of them, maybe read the description, maybe watch a, watch a few of um, the trailers for the games that look a little bit interesting. Uh, see what we think. See if we think it's worth adding to your pile, into my pile or not. Obviously it's going to be added or <laughs> there. Um, so, yep. Um, alrighty then. Kickstarter pitch video. Hmm. See, I'm not sure which of these trailers is probably the best to watch, but let's have a look at the bottom first. It says, it is an RPG by the looks of it. Metro, Me Metroidvania genre. Um, Pay as Miriam, an orphan scarred by an alchemist, an orphan scarred by an alchemist curse, which slowly crystallizes her body. Ooh, okay, so maybe it's a timed Metroidvania. That's a little bit interesting. It's got a bunch of free content um, DLCs. Oh, that's that's cool. Okay, um, looks like it's very, fairly action packed. Uh, fairly nice graphics. Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> expect a worryingly large amount of announcements and updates updating everything from the look of the Steam page to the game in general so hmm, fair enough so yeah this game um, $70 apparently indie action adventure RPG it's got indie there twice for some reason but sure um, sounds good sounds, sounds like something I'd want yep so look what else here Last to Asus Nomadic Survival MMO ooh I'm not really a massive fan of MMOs, but uh, let's have a look what it looks like, because it says Indie Action MMO Adventure RPG. Odd for them to give out an MMO during the Humble Bundle. I don't know if they've done that before. Really $48 though, so... I just watching this because I'm curious if it actually work. It's pretty, I'll give it that. Just hold up. Just stop. Alright, sorry about that. Just want to make sure it was actually recording the sound. That's all. Didn't look like it was. Um, sure. It's giving me vibes of that, that, um, a VR game. Holo, holo truckers or wreckers or something? <laughs> Very interesting. Though, if it's MMO, probably that's my sort of jam. So, fair enough. Fair enough, uh, definitely the game I, uh, definitely is a game that I haven't played before. 66% rating, okay. Super liminal. I mean, this game's great. You won't see it on my mountain though, because I've already passed it. It was fantastic. If you haven't played it, you should. It's all about. Um, it's, it's a simple niche. It's a simple um, gimmick, but it's it's fun. You can make things bigger or smaller by looking at them from different angles. It's uh, it's it's it was a lot of fun. So the way you sort of use perspective. Um, so definitely worth its time. Okay. So yeah.
All right, let's see what else is next on the list. Outer Space. Interesting. Local and online co-op multiplayer game about living together in a house in space. You and your friends about to move a house in space. You'll have to deal with a deadly infestation and face challenges building a sustainable spaceship. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun if I can actually get someone to play with me. Which, given it's in the pilot bundle, pretty good chance. So, nice. I might have to give that a go, though. I feel like, I hope by the time I roll this, I've got some people I can be like, yo, you want to record with me? At the moment, I'm still just like, too too shy to actually be like, yo, you want to record with me. But hey, who knows? If I get this, maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll see. Looks pretty fun, though. We need to delve deeper. We need to go deeper. Okay, okay. Uh, ooh, it's got fish. I appreciate the fish. Wait, is this another? It's another, it's another co-op game. What the heck? Wait, so that's an MMO. That's a co-op game. This is a co-op game. What? With all the co-op games? Why are we adding so many co-op games currently? Can you play it single player? I'm quite concerned. It says design of human interaction. Okay, all bots. Okay, so you can play with bots, but I don't think that would be fun in in the slightest, actually. So, uh, yeah, that's a little bit concerning, just to say the least. Um, sure. All right, let's see what else here. Okay, this is looking more my speed. Indie adventure RPG. A charming adventure game around a unique world, altering puzzle mechanic. Use the power to explore mysterious lands, um, help a quirky cast of characters, and guide Carlo on her journey back to her family. All right, so let's have a look at it. Separate from her granny during a storm, young Carlo must use her innate cartography powers to map and manipulate the world around her. Oh, that sounds fun. Just a simple little puzzle game, which just looks adorable and cute and... Yeah, no, this looks fantastic. This alone is worth claiming it for me. So, uh, humble original. That explains a lot. Then we've got As Far As The Eye. Ooh. Ooh, I'm seeing city builder elements. It, it, in these strategy simulation. Ooh, I'm seeing city builder elements. Ooh, I'm seeing tech trees. Or is that... I don't know if that's tech trees or... I can't read. Ooh. That looks very cool. Okay, okay, this game's looking nice. I don't know what, ooh, wait, has it also got roguelike elements? That looks very much like a randomly generated map that you go through in several stages. I, I am, oh, do you explore? Yeah, it's got turns there. Are you exploring? Is it, oh, very interesting. I see, so, okay, so let's just watch, let's just see the tutorial for this one, because I know it's a tutorial a video for this one. I'd love to just watch a video about this one. No, is this, is this the first one that just doesn't have video at all? Yeah, it is. And I'm just completely mucking up. Yeah, so no video. All right, well, whenever I get this one on my mountain, it, it, um, that sounds fun. Very fun. Nomadic turn-based city builder. Procedurally generated journey to survive halt after halt as far as the eye. Ooh. Whichever way I look at it, this looks pretty fun. I I think I'm totally on board with this one. That that sounds like a lot of a lot of fun right there. I I think that one sounds very good. All right, Ce Cephalus C Cephalus Protocol. First twenty minutes. Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> so it says it's an indie action strategy adventure simulation. It says a pengu virus is unleashed in South. San Francisco, turning thousands of innocent lives into mindless beasts. Okay, so a zombie game or a monster game. One to two. Monster game. Or is it zombies? So it looks like a bit of both. These guys look like zombies. This in the background looks like some sort of hideous, terrible monster. So, oh, interesting. Very odd. So, what I'm getting from this is... Uh, it definitely doesn't look as good as the other one, but... At the same token, it looks interesting. I'm not sure if it's a survival or an exploration game or if it's going to be missions or just like, yeah, no, this could be interesting. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. That sounds pretty good. That sounds all right. Fair enough. Drake Hollow. Ooh. Action. Indie. Adventure. Um, it's another 
Okay, Humble Bundle presents thing. Having followed the call of a mysterious crow, you find yourself trapped in the hollow, the shattered mirror of our world plagued by a mysterious source of eagle, evil. Your only way home is to rescue the drakes, rebuild their home, and drive out the enemies that have ruined the world. Explore, build, and thrive together in this third person co-op survival building adventure. God damn it, another co-op game? I really hope I can play it in something other than co-op, but it sounds good. Yeah, okay, one to four players. Okay, cool. And it's got cuteness. Cuteness is always good too. So, you know. Oh. Yeah, it's survival, leveling up your camp, supporting community. Very nice. Okay, okay, another survival game. No, no, nothing too bad here. Looks like it could be fun. Yeah, I'll definitely throw that on my mountain. Everything's going on my mountain mind. Unless I haven't played it, everything on this list will go onto my mountain. So... Um, if you think any of these sound fun, eventually I'll do it. So, yeah. The Nowhere Prophet. Oh, this is already looking like a, um, a board game style thing. It says Indie RPG Strategy. But it's looking like it's a turn-based, uh, board game. Maybe a card battler. No, let's see cards. Ooh. Very, in yes, there's cards. There's cards. Okay. So it might be an indie card-based battler, but it looks like it's a survival. Like, it's almost like, it's it's almost giving me, um, like, like, Caravan Across the Desert style vibes, you know? So you must have a certain amount you can do, and you sort of got to go through with, with a convoy. Yeah, that makes sense. Very interesting. Okay, cool, cool. So this is another Nowhere Profit. Has card-based tactical combat system. Yeah, there's a lot of these card-based ones. I do like new procedure-generated maps each game. Find loot and uh, find re loot and recruit followers to build your deck. So it's a deck builder. Unlock new content across multiple playthroughs. More than 300 cards. Yeah, like we've played so many of these now. It's not funny. I mean, not we as in the channel, um, but yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's that's interesting too. So nowhere profit um, definitely would be. A very, very interesting one to uh, have. So, yeah. Hmm. Cool. Blue Fire, another action indie adventure. Okay, okay. Interesting. Uh, is this going to be like a, yeah, action sort of like Zelda sort of, I mean Zelda like, um, just, a, just a platforming action sort of thing. Which I'll probably be terrible at, but still, yes, leap through deadly traps and master movements, navigate gradually demanding platforming challenges. Oh boy, yep, that'll be fun. Search for survivors, collect stuff, upgrade. Yeah, fairly, fairly much for much. It's 91% positive, so sure, that sounds fun. Why not? Blue fire. All right, then we have Encodia. An adventure by Chaos Monger Studios. Interesting, interesting. It's a GOG game. So it's not on Steam, it's on GOG. Which is fine. I've got games on GOG on my pile, so that's fair. Um, ooh, it looks pretty, doesn't it? I wonder why it isn't on Steam or why I'm not getting it on Steam. Not that it really matters, but it's uh it definitely looks really interesting from the pictures up here. Hmm. All right, so uh, yeah, no, that one looks very interesting. I'm not really sure why it's not. Uh, oh, that gets even cooler when I go down to the bottom. Dark cyberpunk world of Encodia in 2.5D with two playable characters. Damn, that sounds fun. Why isn't this on on Steam? This is very interesting, very odd. So yeah, okay, cool. Whatevs. Um. So yeah, no, if, if you like the look of any of these games, <clears throat> I will uh, link my referral link below. Um, and hey, uh, it's a little bit, it's very heavy on the co-op and multiplayer today. So this isn't the best bundle for me so far. Uh, let's have a look what other bundles it has. So we've got some games bundles, I'm sure. There we go. Uh, oh boy, yep. I, yeah. So, first of all, Hearts of Iron 4 bundle. Um, this is completely just, it doesn't mean anything to me. I've got the base game because it was free at some point, so it might show up in my Mountain of Shame. But at the moment, I don't really care enough to try and do it. I love Stellaris because, you know, space. I love space. But, eh, eh. 
less so. Also, there's only 11 hours left. I'll probably upload this video before 11 hours, but chances are this one might be over by the time you look at it, so yeah. Okay, let's see what other bundles are available. RPG Heroes. Actually, I admit I've already bought this bundle. Um, it felt like a perfect thing to add onto my uh, onto my mountain of shame. Um, it's got nine days left, so chances are you will see this. It had uh, Dreadlands. Um, don't know what that is. Sounded fun. Why not? It had Slash's Keep, whatever the heck that is. That looks like a giant sentient mole rat, so why not? Quest Hunter, level up and equip yourself, claim some space for your camp from the dark world, assemble a team of friends and helpers, sounds good to me. Swords and Souls, addictive evolving training minigames, train your character's stats, leading to combat, sounds fun. Tower of Time, I don't know where to begin with this one, but it says 50 hours of gameplay, handcrafted levels, and classic RPG gameplay, so sounds fairly good. And of course, Delver. A uh, silky smooth mix of 90s FPS combat with classic RPG mechanics. So, roguelikes are always my jam. So yeah, I definitely did buy this bundle this, and put it onto my, my mountain. So, you to see those there as well. Alright, okay, so next, oh uh, yes, this bundle. And there's two days left, so if you still want to get into it, uh, you can. Ah. <sighs> So the Sakura series I have ignored for years, actually. I Every time one of them popped up, and considering how frequently they popped up, um, I just considered them all to be throwaway pieces of tripe, actually. So I sort of um, didn't ever want to look into them. That's until I started to make a channel that relies on me having entertaining random elements. So I bought this bundle. I bought the whole bundle. The whole thing! They're all there. Oh god, what have I done? Um, if you want to do that too, it's currently on the bundle. Um, yay! <laughs> oh boy. This is gonna be f I, I hope I don't roll one of these anytime soon. I'm not, I'm not currently confident enough in my censorship abilities to be able to show you the Sakura games, but we'll, we'll try it later, shall we? Just, just not right now. Um, it's also probably the reason I bought the uh, other bundle this, this month. Oh, We also have the Take Control bundle. Now, I didn't get this one because I already had several of the games. Like, I already had this one. Um, I think I already had... Uh, I had Elite Dangerous. I don't know. It just didn't really run out, like, jump out to me as something I wanted to purchase. Like... Rebel Outlaw Galaxy, I think that was on my wish list, but apart from that, no, everything else was sort of like, I don't don't really care too much. The, the like I've had a couple of VR sport games is is pretty cool, but yeah, uh, yeah, I'm good. So fair enough. It, it, not every bundle will be for me, I'm sure. And finally, of these bundles, the uh, Early Access All Star bundle. Now. I also bought this bundle, predominantly because of Snowtopia, because I love Tycoon games, and I thought this would be a fantastic thing to play eventually when I finally get around to it. So I put that in there. Luck to be a Landlord, I think that was another one I randomly put on my um, list due to its roguelike gameplay at some point. Um, never heard of Warpips before, but why not? The Infected looks like a horror game, so I... Feel bad about adding that one in, but hey, why not? Golf it. Yep, why not? <laughs> and Retro Wave. Like, I love uh, 80s stuff, so I love 80s music, so I'm guessing this is going to be a fun game when I finally get around to playing it eventually, sometimes, maybe. I mean, come on. Who doesn't love this sound? I mean, I don't know if the game's any good, it probably isn't. But it's not giving me like California Dreams vibes or whatever it was. Outrun, that's right, Outrun. Not California Dreams. But yeah, no, so I, I had to get that too. So yeah, this was a definite on my on my one as well. 
Now, obviously, in general, you should always keep in mind on the software bundles because you never know if there's going to be something interesting. Um, in this case, it has some sound and editing bundles, some other stuff in here, um, some software, like asset packs, etc. Yeah, less exciting. But yeah, so that's Humble Bundle. So once again, um, I obviously was doing this video for the choice, and I'll try and do this video every month if it's, you know, even remotely well-received. I might not if people don't seem to care. Um, but hey, why not? Um, now, apart from that, though, they're not the only free games I get every month. Oh, well, free. I say free. I paid for them, so it's not exactly free games. I paid for everything I showed you here, so it's, it's not exactly free. Now, next one is the Prime games, which, um, well, why not, am I right? Um, so, we've got a bunch of new games here, but the problem is I can't click on any of them because that will show my Amazon information. Which I'd rather not do. So, instead of that, I've got, I've Googled all of them, so we can see if they're any good. Now, as for ones I've already played that will not be going onto my mountain, uh, another Lost Phone, both of them, these two phone games, I've already played through them both, and they were fun. Um, so they won't be included. Uh, I believe everything else here is new, except for Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, which I played before as a child, but I haven't legally owned before. So that's one of those grey areas where I'm not actually sure what to do. Like, on the one hand, I played it at a friend's place when I was a kid, but does that really count? Maybe I should run it through. I don't know. But these games are free if you have uh, Amazon Prime. So if you don't know about the Amazon Prime games, you can come every month, um, and if you want them, you just press claim game, claim game, claim game, and literally, once they're claimed, they'll be yours for life. If you quit Amazon Prime, they're still yours. So even if you don't care about the game, just claim them all. So just like Humble Bundle at the moment. I guess you could just skip the whole bundle, but no. Now, I will be clicking on this Battlefield 5, and that will be going on my Mountain of Shame as well. Um, however, if I click that, it gives me a uh, an origin key. So I'm going to do that separately. So, yeah. Let's have a look at some of these games. So, <clears throat> first one looks terrible. I'm going to be honest. I clicked around and looked around at this. Um, 2.5 says it's a graphic adventure game. Um... The graphics look all right, I suppose, but everything looks dated and very much like a mobile game, which quite frankly it clearly is because it's also on Windows and iOS. So, you know, why not, I suppose. So it's going on my mountain, like it or not, I suppose. The um, Another Lost Phone uh, story, these are basically exactly what you expect. Um, literally, you have a phone. And you get to explore it. So you get to find out more about the person. You get to see what their life was like. Try and work out why they got rid of the phone. It's a bit of a mystery game. A little bit of um, social espionage. It's quite fun. Um, it's very innocent fun. So there's nothing weird or there's no aggression or any bad motives in this game. It just is a series of storylines. Both of them are exactly the same. Both Another Lost Phone, which is a newer one. And the regular Lost Phone, which is, yeah, there as well. Next one is Planet Alpha. And, um, yeah, once again, a bit of a warning sign here, uh, to me, personally. It doesn't look like a fantastic game. So, I'm not really surprised it is, after all, um, Amazon. But still, it says, Pursued by Relentless Enemies, you must uh, harness the power of night and day. As you struggle to survive. Next one, of course, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Honestly, this is probably the star for me in this entire thing. Um, I love the old scum uh, LucasArts uh, adventure games. If you've never played Indiana Jones and Lost Fate of Atlantis, this one alone is worth it. As long as it's a talking version, which I assume it is, this is by far a fantastic addition to anyone's library. Um, no doubt about that one. Metamorphosis, um, not sure what to think about this one. It looks interesting. It looks very buggy, <laughs> in the best possible way. Um, and it's, it's, it was released just recently, so it's a, it's a very recent game. I'm quite surprised um, by seeing 2020 here. So, hmm. And finally, the last game is Secret Files uh, Tungster. Uh, not sure what this is. Looks like another adventure game, 20, 2006. Hey, uh, it doesn't look as bad as the first adventure game, so 
Might as well give it a go. But yeah, that is all the games involved currently on Humble uh, on Humble on Amazon Prime. I can't send you a referral link for this, but I will send you. I will put a link for uh, the Amazon uh, Prime page so you can have a look what you can get. Uh, what else is here? Well, there's a bunch of other things which you can claim if you uh, care about these different games. As you can probably tell, I'm not really one for this sort of stuff, but if you want that, it's there as well. So, oh, good. Oh, good. Uh, well, well, guys, I guess that's the end between Amazon Prime and Humble Bundle. Those are the games which are getting added into my mountain. Now, there was a lot of other games I bought this month, and currently, before I add these current these new games on there, I am sitting at 1,463 um, games. Now, a lot of them came from, obviously, the Humble Bundles I bought. Some of them this time around came from a GMG, a Green Man Gaming um, thing that got me, like, it's literally like eight games just because I'm a little bit concerned about their quality, but hey, why not? Obviously, also, this is the month that we just came off the Steam sale, so there's a lot of games in there that I've, that I bought as well. Like, if I look at the number of games that I've added this month, uh, not counting the current one, I had 87 87 rows since the Prime games were added, so that's a lot of games. Um... I admit, I don't usually buy this many games in a month, but I guess I was excited by this whole Mountain of Shame deal. So I guess that was the eruption. Um, if you liked what you saw, the links in the bottom will get you uh, these various bundles and games to put in your own mountain. And hey, maybe we can play them together in a few uh, weeks or a few years' time. Who knows? Thank you for joining me today either way, though, and I'll see you next time.